Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tea Time with Melissa Freeman and my husband, James Freeman. You want to say a couple of words before I dive in? Hello, everybody. Hello. Hey. We are so happy to have a um, special guest today, the stewards. Um, but I do want you all to formally introduce yourself. So just say your name, how long you've been married, and because we're going to play a game today, one to five, how important do you think it is to play games as a couple? Five being the most. So my name is Felicia Stewart, and we'll be married two years in September. Um, playing games, I guess, I would say like a four or five. That's one way for you to spend more quality time together and get to know what games each other like and don't like. My name is David Stewart, and I've been married going on two years to my lovely, beautiful wife, Felicia Stewart, that I would give nothing in the world to have nothing else to have but her. And, um, I, give, I give it a five because that gets me closer to her and know how closer that we can be together, the things that we can do and not do together, and that's a beautiful thing with me and my wife. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> well, welcome. We're so happy. We always say special guests because you guys are very special to us. Definitely. Thank so, you. Listen, so we gotta listen. Give me a drum roll. Can she, you give me a drum she's roll? Super excited. Hey! Hey! She's super excited. Hey! 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 and um, instruction on how to date healthy, effectively, but while still guarding your heart, but then also transitioning into marriage and how important it is for us to know how to um, have a healthy marriage. So listen, I will leave the information in the description box. Click on that. All you have to do is find a book, Destiny to Win, and you click on my name, Melissa Freeman, and purchase your book. So, Due to the book, we're in a series talking about communication and how important communication is. This is our fourth show. And that tells you alone how important and how much you can talk about communication um, that we haven't transitioned to another topic because communication is so important. And as we've all said, one to five, we've all given it a five that communication is so essential in marriage. So um, we played several games. We had several conversations. Today, we're actually going to play a game that is, um, I would say, no stress, just like enjoying each other, learning each other. And for those who are listening, that is a way to um, learn your mate and also like think about their thoughts based on the answers that they give and how they react to certain things. And remember, we say communication is goes beyond just what's coming out your mouth. It's how you react, um, how you don't react. And those are the things that you learn when you play games and it's fun. So it's like fun communication. So we're gonna do that today. I'm excited to do that. So the game that we're going to play is just a series of questions. All right, I recorded the questions. And what you, what you need to do is um, point to the person that you point to the person that you believe it is. So for example, this is not one of the questions, but if I, if I was to ask um, who drinks the most coffee, both of your eyes are closed. We can, let's illustrate right now. Both our eyes are closed. And let's say um, the question was who drinks the most coffee? And then I would point, he would point. All right, I'm opening my eyes. Yeah. Okay, it was him, right? So like, <laughs> Hands down, y'all already know that anyway. <laughs> but that's just an example of how the game is played. You literally, you keep your eyes closed the whole time. There's 20 questions. And you point to who you think it is. And what we're going to do, um, and those who are watching, we're just going to literally make a note of the ones that, where it was like you pointed at each other. So he's pointing at me and pointing. Because then it's like, oh, y'all both think y'all like that. And then we'll kind of discuss those, OK? So it's kind of fun. All right, so both of you need to close your eyes, but you want to keep the camera where it is so people can see who you're pointing at. Yes. Okay? okay. And, yeah, we're just going to mark. And I'm going to, I already recorded the question, so we won't forget. So let me make sure my volume is very high so you can hear. 
the questions. All right, close your eyes. Yeah, we're starting. Amen. Who is the funny one? Who is more romantic? Who is the most patient? Who is the better so I'm gonna stop y'all real quick because you both have to point. They are pointing. But I can't see them. I'm, 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 Who did you see not point? I'm, 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 I'm jotting it down, babe. No, yeah. we have to see both of their points. Yeah. So he's pointing and he's pointing. Can you see us yeah. pointing? Now, now, now it is. is. Yes, okay. Then we need to see the points, both of you guys. Even if you're pointing at right. yourself. No, it's just whatever. Okay. All right, so ready? We'll start it over. Okay. Close your eyes. Who apologizes first after an argument? Who is the funny one? Who is more romantic? Who is the most patient? Who is the better cook? Who said I love you first? Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? Who is grumpy in the morning? Who is the social butterfly? Who spends the most money? Who is the bigger homebody? Who is more high maintenance? Who is more likely to cry while watching a sad movie? Who is more emotional? Who tells the best story? Who is more likely to get lost? Who buys the best gifts? Who is more likely to spoil their kids? Who talks the most? Who shows their love the most? Okay. All right. You can open your eyes now. I'm blind now. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun, though. Like, okay, so we got to see your answers, and you didn't get to see your answers. So we're going to tell you, um, we're just going to touch on a few that you both pointed at each other. Um, so one of them was, who said I love you first? And y'all both were like, <laughs> oh. I don't know who really said I love you first. <laughs> he did really. He did. Okay, he did. Okay. That's one All for right. us, yeah. James. That's one for the men. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> what, do you... I didn't want to be the one to say it first because I didn't want to say it if he didn't mean it. So if he said it first, then I knew he was serious. Okay. Okay. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Like, well. I think sometimes when it comes to women, they tend to say, I love you first because they're thinking with their emotions. And this time around, I wasn't trying to completely think of with my emotions. I was trying to see how serious he really was. Um, and so based on the different things he was saying, I was just watching his actions. 
And so by me watching his actions and the things that he was doing when he did um, say it, I knew he really meant it. All right, let me see. <laughs> I, I, wait, I, I didn't only say it once. I say it every day. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. Every day. Every day. Every That's day. good. You say it every day. So I just, yeah. So like that just pulls on like stuff we were talking about, like how actions speak loud in words that is not only what you say, but it's like how you treat the person that speaks volume. So like you were like, I'm not saying nothing. I see the action, but mm, let me make sure. And that's how we are. Like it, it does communicate volume. So him saying it probably just was like an added confirmation that he loved you because you were already looking at actions. Mm -hmm. All right, so that, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, the one that we didn't see your, your fingers pointing at each other was who initiated the first kiss? He did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, based on actions. I wasn't trying to get emotionally involved. I had to wait and see what was going on. Ain't nothing wrong with how that. Can you, how can you not want to kiss this beautiful face? <laughs> listen, oh, listen. So hey, listen, let me tell you something. It, well, I won't give ours away. Go ahead. I, I guess. But, <laughs> They're going to play it too. Papa, well, how are they going to mark They'll just take them to pick it up. OK. Oh, my gosh. OK, y'all look so cute. OK. <laughs> All right, so the other one that y'all pointed to together was um who is more high maintenance y'all both were like oh, <laughs> tell us the real who's more high maintenance uh no how are you gonna say i am what <laughs> can i say so i go get a haircut it costs us twenty dollars yeah. she get her hair done cost 250 who's more yeah. high maintenance? <laughs> then she won't get her nails and toes done come on <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got a point on that sense. All right. Okay, he has a point. He has a point. It's true. Yeah, That's yeah. very true. All right, so would you change, do you change your mind, Felicia, of who you're choosing? You think that you're more high maintenance now? Yeah, I am. When he's, when he's in that sense, yes, I am. But I have no problem with it. It's my baby. I have no problem with it. There you go. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Um, then the other one was, who is more emotional? Yeah, you both point at each time. other, yeah. like you're both emotional. So somebody be honest and tell the truth. Who's more emotional? Tell us. Tell us why you think that too. But I think she's more emotional to me because she she gets in emotional. She starts to cry at a point. You know what I mean? I don't know if she's really hurt or you know it's just it's just something that she does. It shows that her expressions and, and stuff. She she cries very easy. Uh, I think she's more emotional. It, it, it's a Roberts thing, praise the Lord. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, well, usually because it gets to that point where I feel like he's like understanding me or really feeling me and knowing how hurt I really am. And then I think when it gets to a point where I'm totally hurt that, I ha that I'm crying. It's like he gets it. He's like, okay, she's really hurt. But I was hurt before that. Got it. Got it. So the tears speak to you, David. Sounds. Yeah, I thought like I thought it was teardrop at teardrop at a dime, but I see it's more more than that. You know what I mean? She really <laughs> she, she's really emotional. <laughs> Oh, man. And, and, and they don't be teardrops. They be flowing. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, okay, this is real. It just got real. It'd it be real. Yeah. So why did you point at David, Fee? Because I think he gets um, emotional, and not necessarily as far as crying. When he gets emotional, he starts talking a lot, and you can hear it in his, in his tone. And so... Um, and I don't always think he, he's, he don't always share his emotions with me. I usually find out his emotions from one of his sisters because he doesn't talk to one of his sisters when I feel like sometimes she should be telling me because I'm with them all the time. But I guess because he's more of a family oriented person and that's what he's used to doing, his family, they really know when he's really emotional. Mm -hmm. But I don't always get to see his emotions unless I can hear him talking or when his sisters tell me. 
Got it. Okay. So, okay, that was funny. I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. You both pointed when we asked who buys the best gifts. There was another one. Yep. Who buys the best gifts? Y'all both were pointing at each other. So tell us more about that. So y'all look like y'all spend a lot of money. <laughs> well, it's not about the money, it's about the things that she buys. You know, she knows what I want, she knows what I like. So, you know, as I like I said, it's not about the money. It's just that she goes out her way and gets you know, gets to what, what I like and what I want. So I think she gets, you know, she does that very well, good, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, for me, it's, it's the um, yeah. same thing. I'm, I'm, I'm about to speak to you offline, sis. <laughs> hey, bro, I hope that's a good for me now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going go for me. Okay, all right. But so, so for me, it's like, um, he spends money. He don't have to, but he do spend money. And what he spends it on is on things that I could tell was from the heart. Something that he says, because you're my baby, this is what I want you to have. And so I think in a sense that makes me feel special. So that's kind of good. Um, and then the other times he give me things, it's not necessarily expensive, but I can still tell he put some thought into it and it was from the heart. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> he trying to rack up some brownie points for real. I know, girl. I wasn't gonna say nothing. But... <laughs> so I like I like how you all describe that. Like she always gives me what she want, what I want, and then you said his gifts are very meaningful. And so those, I, I, I'm just gonna pull on that quickly because a lot of couples struggle with that, and they believe that, um. To do something or to get a gift, it has to be expensive. But sometimes, if you're the type of person where you want a meaningful gift, that holds more weight than if they went spent a thousand dollars, right? So just yeah. learning your mate and knowing what your mate likes and what's going to make them actually feel special is really important too. I know it's not part of like um, it's still in the vein of communication because we communication through what we communicate through our gifts, what we give someone. So like it's important to know what your mate desires and loves too when it comes to gift giving. Mm -hmm. So um, that's awesome. That's interesting that that's how you um, y'all both described it. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was one more you all pointed at each other. Um, who shows their love the most? Y'all both was like, who shows your love the most? Who shows their love the most? Yeah, you both were like that. Okay. Yeah. So. Tell us more. Like, that's good. I think that's good that you both show, like, y'all both believe, like, no, you show more love I, I than I do. He, I think he shows it. Well, I, I think, I feel like he shows it more only because every morning um, I'll get a, a good morning prayer um, with a little love note. And then I also throughout the day will get little um, love notes saying, you know, you're special, thinking of you, little affir affirmations throughout the day. And then, um, I didn't know that he likes that as well. So I, I ended up starting to do that to him. So, but I think, I definitely think he shows it more. So for me, it's, it's, she, she shows me love, you know, in the morning, noon and night, especially like today when we was walking, we hold hands and everything. And that's very special to me, but she shows me love every day, all day. So I'm very important with that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's sweet. That's sweet. Do you want to um, touch on any of the no, questions? Those are the ones. So now okay. the only thing that I'm worried about is them being able to know which one. They're just, they're just gonna that, that they'll road. just tell us. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do the game. We're gonna close our eyes because we, we recorded the questions. And mm -hmm. while you are watching, you can just select three or four um, where you see us both point at each other. Okay. Just like try to keep it in your head. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay, let me um, set this up and then we'll get started. You ready? Mm -hmm. Who initiated the first kiss? Who apologizes first after an argument? 
who is the funny one? Who is more romantic? Who is the most patient? Who is the better cook? Who said I love you first? Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? Who is grumpy in the morning? Who is the big baby when sick? Who is the social butterfly? Who spends the most money? Who is the bigger homebody? Who is more high maintenance? Who is more likely to cry while watching a sad movie? Who is more emotional? Who tells the best story? Who is more likely to get lost? Who buys the best gifts? Who is more likely to spoil their kids? Who talks the most? Who shows their love the most? I think that's the last one. All right, so. So there was only one question that y'all pointed at each other. Really? Yeah. yeah. And can, do you have a list of questions in front of you? I do. Can you read them? Um, who initiated the first kiss? Who apologizes first after an argument? Who is the funny one? Who is more romantic? Who is most patient? Who is the better cook? Who said I love you first? I know, but who pointed at who for that one? Y'all both pointed at you. You. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's that all ups on that. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> who takes longer to get ready in the morning? That's the one. That's, that's, the, that's one. the one. You okay. both pointed at each other. <laughs> yeah. That's it. My wife's not really a morning person, so she's really slow motion because she's not really a morning person. But I don't take the longest. <laughs> I'm more grumpier in the morning, but I think you take longer. No, no, no. <laughs> There's no way. Everywhere we go, we're late because he's still getting ready. <laughs> so I take the. Huh? I said he takes longer. He takes longer. Yeah. Well, all, anytime we're late, it's because he's still like doing whatever he's doing. David. Yeah. <laughs> David's the same way. I think they yeah. got something on us. Elder, they trying to say it's us. No. I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? On the grumpy one, too. Y'all yeah, both pointed at each other. other. Y'all both pointed at each other. Oh, okay. Like, she's that. super grumpy in the, mor in the morning. <laughs> she's not, well, my wife is not a morning person at all. <laughs> <laughs> No. I, and, he, and he may be grumpy in the morning, but I'm probably worse. I, just, I, mean, I wake up, I don't even feel like talking. I don't feel like doing nothing. I don't feel like getting up. I don't feel, everything's hard. Like everything's hard to do. That's how grumpy I am. Dave, I That's wake up I in the morning. I, I put on my worship music to get, to get myself ready. That's it. I'm all, all, if, if, you're not happy, if you're not happy in the morning, you're going to have a, a bad day. You got to be happy in the morning when you get up. You got to smile. That's you got to be thankful. I, 
You gotta be thankful. You gotta be blessed. You gotta be happy. You gotta smile. You gotta say good morning. <laughs> said to me, you don't never say good she morning. She never say good morning to me. And I'm like, I'm not even like fully woke. I haven't had coffee or anything. So now I'm trying to make it a habit to say good morning. She's been doing good lately. Yeah. And every every day I leave and go to work and say, all right, babe, love you. It's a <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you get that. <laughs> I, said, I get a, I get a, I get a this. She go. See, I don't understand it. <laughs> well, you know, I ain't have my coffee. You know, I'm still waking up. I'm waking she, up. Didn't she didn't have a coffee. She didn't have a coffee, David. But that's what she got. She got me. But, but she got me. There you <laughs> go. Oh boy. Listen, yeah. I say, I'm, I don't know what she be saying in the morning. I don't know what she's saying. Uh, so those are the only two that we pointed across. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. the only two. So did we have any where we pointed at each other? Um, so like I pointed yeah. at myself and he pointed at himself. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Which ones? Which ones was that? Um. Um. Yeah, I'm saying questions again, girl. Who talks the most? Who pointed at who? You talk the most. Yeah, at James. James, and he pointed at himself. Oh, who buys the best gifts? James. He said James. I said myself. Yeah. yeah you said yourself. Both you pointed at yourself. He pointed at himself. So let's talk about that. <laughs> well, my, my wife is similar to like, you just write something on a piece of paper. It's like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm not that. I, I, that's not me. Like, if, I, if you give, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm a, I want just what I want. And normally it's a little expensive. Yeah. Normally, all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes he's like, babe, this is what I want. I go look it up. It's like $2,000. I'm like, nobody got $2,000. <laughs> And that, this should be the other way around. He should be spending two thousand dollars on you. Okay. Wait, listen, Hold listen, on. Listen, sis, listen, check listen. this out. Sis, Wait, check let, this out. Let us say that again. Go ahead. What you say? I say he's spending two thousand dollars on you, not you on him. Check You're the out, queen, sis. and now, he's sis. the king. He's supposed okay. to be taking care of his queen. Now, now sis. I and James, I didn't hear that. Oh, he heard it. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> he heard it. And, and now, sis, now, early on, right, I should just leave and go to the store and buy her, like, tons of clothes, shoes, everything. You know what she used to do? Where's the receipt? And take everything back and keep the money. Who does that? Why, though? Why did I do that? I don't know. I still, I still don't know. I still don't know. Because spending way too much money on stuff that I'm never going to use. No. Yeah, look, see? See, P can relate to that. You see? Nah. Oh, sorry. Nah. 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 I don't understand it, Dave. I don't understand it. If you, if you take it back, you're going to give me the money back. Yeah. <laughs> Just out there, like, when I go buy something, I'll be like, oh, let me pick that up. I think those, those heels will look nice. Or, oh, that, that, that will look nice. Boom. And she'll be like, well, what do you, like, I'm like. No, one time he bought me heels and they hurt my feet. And I was like, I'm not going to I like my these. wife in heels. I like my heels. But they hurt my feet, right? So what's more important? Me walking around, trying to look cute, and then have like, you know, my toes look kind of cute. So I can't be walking around with all busted. <laughs> exactly, because he want me to wear some shoes that cost a certain amount of money. No, 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 no. So that's so funny. OK, so, so I guess it depends on what you're spending the money on. Yeah. Like, I guess you, you have to communicate to each other, okay, if you're going to spend money on me, these are the things that I would prefer you spend the money on me on. Like with my husband, um, I would love money. He gives me money. I would love money, jewelry, clothes. You know, I don't mind those things. But if he was to get me something that I really didn't like, I would tell him, you know, something along those lines that like, you can keep your money and give me something else or, you know so he'll know I wasn't completely happy with it not say I'm not appreciative yeah. but yeah. you're going to spend money on me and you're trying to make me happy this is what is 
going to make me happy. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Like for him, you get him a suit or outfit or something, he's good. That's it. Yeah, a, a nice suit, a pair of pants, some slacks, a sweater, something like I, that. Yeah. That's it. Like, yeah. yeah a, quick, a quick scenario is, so for Father's Day, I caught myself doing something really great for him. I got him, I thought I was getting him cordless um, um, clippers. But I guess I got him cordless tremors. And so he was like, I already got tremors. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, note to self next time. Either yeah. take him with me or ask him, let him look at some of them so he can kind of see what I'm looking at to see if it's what he wants. Yeah. But I, I used them. He used them, but yeah. I was going to take them back, but he used them. Yeah, see, now I've learned that too. Like, my wife loves this. Um, little spa place in Randolph. So I know now, like, I'll spend my money on getting her, like, yeah. several sessions of that. Because she likes going to this at some place. Self-care. I'm all about self-care. Nails, toes, Yeah, but, but she don't tell you how expensive I, that is, though, Dave. It is expensive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is expensive. But, like, that's what I like. But it's not as expensive as some of the things she Listen. One time he was like, buy me a reclining chair. I was like, what? <laughs> I, I, I want the one that has the USB like cords in it, everything. Huh? I said, those are like around $1,500. She put it right in front of the TV when the football game comes on. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Absolutely, Dave. <laughs> So just like the, what, this is the, something you actually can do by yourself. Like you can create some questions and then um, record it, and then kind of you can also record yourself and see who picks who, and then have a conversation and say like, "Oh, why did you say me? I thought it was you," you know, and really just get to know each other. And then it's fun conversation. It's not heavy conversation. It shouldn't start an argument. It should just be like a discussion. And I think that um, sometimes we miss out on just having fun. Because when you get older, you think it's all about paying bills, going to work, and, you know, taking care of your kids. And then, you like, kids still play games. When we get a certain age, we're like, oh, we don't, you know, we don't really want to play games. But I think that games are still good, especially when you're married. Like, it's a good way to get to know each other and still keep that open communication about stuff, like how we just talked about gifts. Like, that, sometimes that's not talked about unless you do these kind of games. Mm -hmm. So, um, the people record it because if she tried to change in later years, I can bring it back to her. <laughs> Say, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Record it. Record it. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny. So, we, we, you guys look like you are just having a ball at yes. the beach. We're yeah. not going to keep you this whole time. Say it one more time. I said, we decided to come to the beach to spend some quality time. Yeah. Nice. Because we don't nice. ever really do it, so. Yeah. We was there earlier, but you guys already went to the, the clam box. And yeah, that, that, that's all I was there for is the food. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we did first, Elder. We did that first. <laughs> that's it. Oh, man. I'm, I'm surprised it was still nice. We, we went in the water a little bit, me and Noah. It was nice. Yeah. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Since we've been having the um the communication episode, how do you feel from one to five, five being the highest, how your communication has improved? I say a five to me. Yeah. It, it, I think each um, session gives you more to think about and more to be aware of. And more, nice. more, to, uh, more to do. The, more, if you haven't done it, you know, it's a good thing to start doing. You know, yeah. like I said, it gets better. Everyone gets better. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And so that's what these shows are all about, like um, getting our communication to a place where we're, um, you could say satisfaction. We're satisfied with how we're communicating is getting better. Um, what do you all think the next topic should be? Romance. Romance. Woo! Right, so like, uh, I feel like I'm more of the romance, romantic, and he's not really the romantic. I I had a candlelight dinner. We had a candlelight dinner a couple months ago, beginning of March, 
and we're sitting there, we had ordered Chinese food, sitting there eating. He ate up his food so fast, and then he got up and left and went to the bed, mm -hmm. to the bedroom. And I'm still sitting there eating. And then when I get in, I was, I go in there, I was like, what are you doing? And, well, he, man. and he was like, what? I finished eating. I was like, but we was on a date. If we was in a restaurant, you couldn't just get up and leave. You have to sit there and wait until I'm finished. What kind of date exactly. was that? I know. What's that about, Dave? Let's talk about I, that. I, I went to the room. I thought she was coming. <laughs> she, took, she took too long. <laughs> I, I fell asleep. <laughs> I can't. Over. There we go. I had a lit candle. It went out. She took so long. <laughs> <laughs> He's messing with you. So I feel like romance, because I feel like sometimes men, they want to be romantic, but the, maybe they don't know exactly what to do and how to go about it. Mm. And sometimes men can be embarrassed to say, yeah, I want to be romantic, but I don't know how to do it, or I don't know what I should or shouldn't do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that. So our next episode, because look, we trying to um, give to the people. We're trying to, which are also, I just want everyone to know, like we're growing as we're doing these episodes. It's not just for um, other couples, but also for us too. Like when you communicate and when you get with other couples, you learn too. Um, so our next episode will definitely be romance. So all those who are listening, stay tuned. Um, but also like, I just wanna, um, we gotta put this out there before we end the show. Like we redeemed ourselves last time. We, we really did. Yeah, we really did. Absolutely. Yeah, y'all did. I watched it. Yeah, yeah really absolutely. Yeah. David and I said we were gonna do it again. Yeah. And yeah. what it does is it, it makes you, going back to what you guys said in that episode, just hearing the instruction. And it's funny, I read your post on there, B, and you was like, um, James repeating it, help Melissa better understand where she needed to put the different pieces. And that, that's what I had to do, continue to slow, mm -hmm. directionally, and then she was able to kind of get everything I was saying. So yeah, I, I'm glad we did it over. And that's the good thing. As long as we got breath in our body, we can continue to improve our relationships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All about, so like, those who are watching and don't know what we're talking about right now, we're talking about the Lego communication activity that was in our last episode. So yeah. check that out if you haven't already. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, it's all about continuing to grow. That's it. Um, so next time we come on, we'll talk about romance. All right, we'll get that together. I think it's a great topic. Mm -hmm. um, and it needs to be talked about. And I do agree with you that sometimes I believe people want to and they just don't know what to do. Um, and so we'll definitely go down that path. Definitely go down that path. All right. So you all look like you're chilling. Yeah, we don't want, we don't want to hold y'all too. We want y'all to enjoy the sun and y'all enjoy yourself. All right. That's into it. Make sure you get that book. All right. And shameless go. plug. Destined, destined to win. Destined to win by my wife. Um, she is one of, I believe it is it eight writers, 20, 20 writers that was able to really just exercise the gift that God gave them in different areas. My wife's was relationships, marriage, and you know some good tidbits for those that are looking to be married, those that are courting, and those that are currently in a marriage. So go out and get it, support the book, support the movement. I think you will be truly blessed and for what I just said, I, I'm going to get some kickback as well. No, I'm joking. Just go get the book. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we usually do a toast because this is tea time, right? Um, mm -hmm. You probably don't have mugs with you no. because you're out and about, and that's fine. But we're still going to do a toast. You want to put your mug up. Um, and could one of you all do it. Say a toast, and then we'll toast to it. Okay. So to all the married couples, to all the couples dating, this is our way of learning and growing together so we can have life until death. Close to that. Close to communication. All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So we're going to let y'all go. All right. And before we go, before we go, I just want to say, uh, Mr. Freeman, thank you for all the um, nuggets that you're giving us so that we can keep growing on with our marriage. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's keep it going. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'm happy my husband was on today to join us. It's always awesome when we get the men's perspective and not just women. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah.
Yeah. It's a big deal. We bring a great balance, praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. They're trying to outnumber us, Elder. They're trying to outnumber us. <laughs> I, I know, brother. I know we cannot let that happen. <laughs> Listen, you, you guys enjoy the fun in the sun. We don't want to take up too much of your time. We really appreciate you guys being able to be on with us. And thank you so much for coming. Our special guest, the stewards. Woo! Thank you so much for coming. Um, you made this show possible. Um, so we just enjoy you every time we come together. So until next time. Enjoy yourselves, and next time we come back, we'll be talking about romance. 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 Romance.